A few weeks ago, I created a video called Zoom vs Skype versus WebEx, and you guys really enjoyed it. So today, I wanted to take it a little bit further and evaluate Skype versus Microsoft Teams. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be comparing the base level of Skype against Microsoft Teams. Well, let's take a look at both of these platforms and understand who might be using Skype and who might be using Microsoft Teams. Starting off with Skype and one of the biggest and most interesting factors that I've come across lately is the fact that on their website now they claim end-to-end -end encryption in very big bold letters. Considering all the controversy around Zoom lately and the fact that they previously claimed end-to-end -end encryption but didn't actually have end-to-end -end encryption is very interesting. And then when you take a look at Microsoft Teams website, nowhere do they state end-to-end -end encryption. Microsoft Teams states at rest and in transit encryption. So there's still potential there for some encryption errors, but they don't go and make that bold end-to-end -end claim. Skype provides you with these interesting chat features and voice and video call options, just like Microsoft Teams does. It allows you to transfer files and store files on Skype the same way Microsoft Teams does. It allows you to call other people directly and schedule calls in the future as well. The scheduling feature on Skype isn't the greatest, if I'm being honest, and Microsoft Teams definitely does a much better job at scheduling calls and planning out your organizer. So if this is something that's very important to you, you probably don't need to watch the rest of this video, you can just jump to Microsoft Teams right now. Skype does have some interesting features, which Microsoft Teams has as well, but it comes down to a pricing point of view. If you're looking to purchase an international phone number or call international mobile numbers directly, there is a purpose for that, definitely. You can call most countries around the world and set up an original phone number in that country to actually start using Skype as a mobile device, as an external number. So I guess for people who don't have the access to the internet, for example, grandparents in a foreign country, maybe they can only call via the telephone. This might be a very helpful feature, especially considering how much telcos charge for international calls. Both Skype and Microsoft Teams have HD video calls for your video conferencing needs. If you need to share files quickly in between participants, they're both very good at this. Where Microsoft Teams steps up the game a little bit, is the fact it's integrated with Office 365 very, very well. So you can intuitively start editing different Word documents, editing different Excel spreadsheets directly in Teams versus having to send files, rename them, send them back, and have a million and one copies. The best thing about both of these platforms is you can now share a link and invite anybody to a video conference at any given time. So previously you would have had to sign up to Skype to actually be able to join a video call, whereas now you can simply share a link, let them join and begin talking straight away. Again, where Microsoft Teams steps it up here is it's integrated with your Office 365 calendar. So you can easily schedule that call, put it in your calendar, you get a notification when the time comes and you can just click on the link and start your video conference. Microsoft Teams also has an array of different built-in features. For example, you have a to-do list dedicated into the app and also a new feature called Walkie Talkie coming very soon. So you can start using your mobile phone as a walkie talkie device and remove another cost from your business. So basically what Microsoft Teams is trying to do here, and I think they've actually done it reasonably well, is produce a software to collaborate with in-house and out of house. So for those who are stuck in isolation right now and struggling to communicate with the rest of their team who's potentially anywhere around the world, Microsoft Teams is definitely a great option to get you started. It is one of the places that you can do a whole bunch of different features. And if you're already on the 365 platform, it doesn't cost you absolutely anything to use most of their features. And if you're a company that's looking to train people during this quarantine period and you don't know how to train them whilst they're at home, you can easily start storing information in Microsoft Teams. So for example, you can implement all your policies, all your training videos, all your guidelines for new staff or existing staff to read and brush up on in times like this. Another reason Microsoft Teams takes over the crown from Skype is the simple fact 
that Skype is very prominent in the mobile phone calling um, sector of the market, whereas now Microsoft Teams actually has implemented its very own desktop phone systems. So if you're a business with 100 calls coming in a day, multiple consultants, and everybody needs to be on the same line, but you don't want to pay the ridiculous fees that are associated with these sorts of business setups, then Microsoft Teams actually allows you to do that from within this one built app. It's definitely a cool little feature that is more targeted at the larger corporations or even the small to medium businesses just starting to expand into this market and really want to use new technology to their advantage. With the added benefit of having up to 10,000 people on any Teams call, it is definitely a much superior platform than Skype. It takes all the features that Skype does really well, does them better, and then integrates a million and one other software features as well. So for me, it's a very simple go to Microsoft Teams if you haven't used either of these platforms before. If you're on Skype, it's worth considering the switch. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the additional content during this quarantine period. Usually it's one video a week every Monday. Now it's three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's video being Wednesday. I will see you on Friday.